Hi, my name is Natalia and welcome to Body Abroad. Welcome to Travel Let's Tur Thursdays. Welcome to Travel Thursdays here on Body Abroad. If I look tired, it's because I am. If you didn't know, I'm leaving nine months for Brazil to work with the Fulbright program. My trip to Brazil is coming up very, very, very soon. And even though I had nine months to prepare for it and I did things along the way, there's just so many things that I haven't done. Last minute things that came up. So I am exhausted and one of the things i have to do and finish doing is packing because i started last night i was picking out the clothes that i was gonna take and i have a lot of stuff and i don't know if i'm over packing i don't know if i'll need everything i really don't know also i was kind of thinking about my expectations for brazil so that's what this video is going to be about. This Travel Thursday is going to be about what I am packing for Brazil and my expectations to living there nine months. Go ahead and like this video. Leave a comment down below if you've ever been to Brazil. I would love any recommendations on what to expect. Also, if you are an overpacker and underpacker, I feel like I'm in between because I pack extras but i don't pack extras to the point where i need another suitcase don't forget to follow body abroad on all your favorite social media platforms facebook youtube instagram twitter there are videos every tuesday and thursday here the travel days on body abroad now here we go here is what i am packing for my nine months in brazil slash my expectations for my trip abroad let's get started with what i'm packing for my nine months abroad I decided to bring a couple of t-shirts and for this I tried to think of the t-shirts that I had used frequently in the last six months. Shirts, I feel like I'm not bringing that many. I tried to think of what I frequently used and I didn't want to pack anything that I hadn't used in the last six months as well. And where I'm going to be staying has similar weather to Puerto Rico. For pants, I'm going to be packing some flowy pants because I've been into those lately. A couple pairs of jeans, some nice pants in case I have any meetings. I'm bringing two flowy shorts and one jean short. For skirts, I'm only bringing three skirts. For the gym, I'm going to be bringing just these four pair of leggings. I've been recently going to the gym and I wanna continue in Brazil. I'm also bringing a couple of sneakers, some sandals, rain boots, and a nice platform shoe. Three bikinis because think of all the Brazilian bikinis I'm gonna buy. With regards to accessory, I'm bringing a couple of things. I've been wearing hair bandanas a lot. I'm bringing watches, earrings, and a couple of necklaces and bracelets. I'm bringing a Portuguese practice book as well as a dictionary. I'm bringing two planners and I always travel with a journal so this time I'm bringing two. I'm also bringing a bunch of medicine not because I think in Brazil there's not going to be any medicine just in case something happens in that first month where I'm not familiar with the products in Brazilian pharmacies but I did the same thing when I went to college like don't think it's just because of Brazil. I also got a raincoat because right now where I'm gonna live it's raining a lot. I don't want to take it out just trust that it's a raincoat and it has like a backpack compartment. That was pretty cool. I feel like I'm gonna use this along with my rain boots. And technology, I'm bringing my laptop, my phone, and my ring light in order to make videos while I'm in Brazil. I'm bringing these adapters. This is a converter. This is one that I found. I don't remember where I found this, but it's come in handy when I travel. Also bought extra iPhone chargers and an extra Mac charger because my regional advisor told me it's kind of hard to find iPhone chargers and I feel like Apple products and Apple accessories as a whole. I might be wrong on that. Correct me if I am. I really don't know. I'm also bringing this external hard drive where I am saving everything that I film. And you know, also the basics like headphones for the plane. I don't know where they are right now because I have a mess. I feel like I've shown you about 90% of the things that I'm bringing. I still have a couple of things that I did not mention like my makeup, other clothing items that I am washing right now, and kind of things that I'm bringing from home. Pictures to decorate wherever I'm gonna live, and just little things that will make my room mine. I am gonna be living nine months there so I am gonna make it as homey as possible. Also, I am bringing my important documents like my passport, my visa, my wallet with all my, like, so my social security card, my license, my health insurance card everything like that i'm such a mess that i didn't do a proper intro to the expectations part of this video so here are my five expectations about living in brazil
the expectation is that Brazil is going to be very similar to Puerto Rico. I say this because from what I've researched and orientations that I've had through the Fulbright program, they've said a lot of things that I can resonate with. For example, one of the things that they were saying is that public universities are getting budget cuts as well. So they were like, if you see a protest, don't be alarmed and that's something that's very common here even though i did not go to university in puerto rico i am aware of what's happening and the injustices that the government is doing by cutting the budget second thing is that when looking for an airbnb in my host town the house that i'm staying in because i'm renting like a room looks a lot like the house is here in Puerto Rico. And also my grandma went to Brazil back in the 90s and it said it looked like Puerto Rico, it felt like Puerto Rico. There were obviously differences. And third, I wanna say is for the people because I don't wanna stereotype anything, but I expect Brazilian people to be like, very outgoing and very fun. And that's how people in Puerto Rico are. Expectation number two is that Portuguese is gonna be a little bit harder than I think it's gonna be. When I was doing Duolingo and watching YouTube videos to kind of see the similarities between Spanish and Portuguese, there were endless similarities. They're both romance languages, so it just makes sense. But I feel that I'm gonna get into like all the technical things in my head and I'm not gonna wanna speak unless it's a good sentence or statement. So I feel like I'm gonna make Portuguese harder on me because I wanna be able to communicate adequately. I am taking Portuguese classes there, so hopefully that will help. The problem is that they're in English and i rather learn Portuguese in Spanish, if that makes sense. There are more similarities with Spanish than English and then I have to translate in my head from English to Spanish, Spanish to Portuguese. I'll make it work. My third expectation is that I'm going to have to change my diet a little bit. Right now, I am a vegetarian, eating fish occasionally because when I went to my doctor in November, she recommended it and you can't make change in the world if you're not healthy. So I eat fish once or twice a week. But here in Puerto Rico, we have Walmart, which carries like veggie burgers and soy protein and things like that. And they're not gonna have that in Brazil. Now I have talked to people who have been vegetarian in Brazil and where I'm gonna live, and they rely mostly on eggs and beans, but I don't know how I'm gonna have to implement a little bit more of a source of protein from an animal while I'm there to kind of like keep a healthy diet since I'm not gonna have those alternatives from me. I might be wrong. I might be able to be full-on vegetarian but we'll see also i might be curious to try some brazilian food if i have to change my diet i will my fourth expectation is that i will not be able to travel that much outside of the host city that i am going to be in i am working i have to work about 30 hours a week and outside of that you have to do like some cultural thing or some project so i have a feeling i'm gonna be really busy and not gonna want to be on buses at, like every weekend i do want to set myself at least one trip a month to a different city and we do get vacation time so i really want to travel to at least two countries during the two weeks that fulbright gives their etas off but if it was for me i would be traveling every weekend it's just the reality of things also time consuming and expensive. I might be wrong. And my last expectation is that time will go by really quick. And before I know it, November is gonna be around the corner. And I have a feeling this is gonna happen just when I'm starting to enjoy everything and maybe figuring stuff out, I'm gonna have to leave because my grant time is going to be over. I feel like the feeling of waiting for this moment is gonna feel longer than the actual time that I spend there. But I'm gonna enjoy every single minute of it i'm so grateful that i've gotten this opportunity that is it for this travel thursday i hope you guys enjoyed it and leave me a comment below if i miss anything that i should pack i feel like i oh i'm over packing a bit i might end up taking things out or i might end up putting things in don't forget to follow body abroad on all your favorite social media platforms i will see you guys tuesday and it's probably not going to be in this setting anymore thanks for watching bye mm -hmm.